Hunter, what are you tracking for our Tuesday? Dragging a chilly day, guys, that's for sure. Breezy northwest winds giving a chill to the air this morning. It's even cold out there for some of us as we have dropped into the 30s out along I-35. But a nice, a nice sunrise looking south on Highway 52. It is 45 degrees in Rochester. Still holding on to 50 in Decorah, but that will be reducing, decreasing, I should say, as those northwest winds continue to pull in that cold air. Look at that, 39 in Owatonna right now, 45 in Northwood and Forest City. Some of us 20 degrees below. This time yesterday, we were 20 degrees higher than these current temperatures. It's a notable change as that new air mass is starting to stream in. Winds have relaxed from earlier this morning, so that's rather good news, but they will still be rather breezy throughout the day today. As for this morning, break out those jackets. You will need them throughout the whole day as we only climb to the upper 50s by around 11 o'clock. Going to go for those low 60s for highs, but as early as tomorrow, south winds return strong at that, and we'll be climbing into those mid to even upper 70s potentially, and then we fall down yet again into the upper 60s to low 70s by Thursday. So that tomorrow will all be thanks to those winds that will turn out of the southwest, gusting around 30 35, maybe even closing in on 40 mile per hour gusts. So make sure you have two hands on the wheel throughout the day tomorrow. But this will also be increasing our fire danger. Thanks to, the, thanks to this new air mass, very dry one coming out of Canada, we will have relative humidity values down into those low to mid 20% range. That is very dry and that is prime for fire development. On top of that, the drought, uh, abnormally dry for nearly everybody with some portions of our North Iowa counties in moderate drought. So this is really upping our fire danger to that elevated range for all of southeastern Minnesota and North Iowa. So just make sure you are not burning anything on Wednesday or even flicking any cigarette out on the ground because it can spark a fire and those fires will spread rapidly thanks to those gusty winds very low humidity values and temperatures that are well above average for this time of year. As for October, now that we are in this new month, well, it looks to be rather warm still. According to the Climate Prediction Center, they are thinking that in general consensus that we will have above average temperatures throughout the month and even into the precipitation side of things, yeah, it looks to be rather dry too. So not the best for our ongoing drought concern. Thankfully, we are closing in and harvest season is happening now. So our crops aren't that impacted all too much. But as we head into this next seven day stretch, yeah, we are up and down. Chilly today, warm tomorrow, near average for the end of the week. And even the weekend looks split. It looks warm Saturday and then more fall like by Sunday. If you're looking if you're liking the warmer temperatures, soak them up while they're here. Oh, yeah, because eventually, you know, they're going to go out of here and we're mm -hmm. going to be mighty cold. All right. Good call. Thanks, Hunter.